So this question says, if x is the average arithmetic mean of m and n, okay, well then I can translate that. So I'm going to treat this as a translate word problem question. So the question just told me that x is equal to the average of m and 9. I find the average by adding them together and dividing by 2. There's my translation for the first part. And it says y is the average of 2m and 15. So that means y is equal to 2 m plus 15 divided by 2. And z is the average of 3m and 18. So 3m plus 18 divided by 2 equals z. What is the average of x, y, and z in terms of m? Okay, so a couple of things here. One, I could continue this question definitely using this translate word problem method. And let me just show you what that means, and then I'll show you the other strategy. So the question is asking for the average of x, y, and z. Well, I know how to find that, right? From a, gener from a general sense, it's just x plus y plus z divided by 3, right? It's ho that's how you find averages. You add up the things you be you're being asked to average, and you divide by the number of things you have. So x plus y plus z equals 3. Because I already know what x, y, and z are in terms of 3m, or in terms of m, I'm sorry, I could just restate this in terms of m instead of in terms of x, y, and z. So instead of x plus y plus z, I would have m plus 9, right? That replaces the x. So m plus 9 over 2. Then I'd have 2m plus 15 over 2, that replaces my y, and I'd have 3m plus 18 over 2, that replaces my z, and all of that divided by 3. So if you simplify this, um, what you'll see is that the all the fractions in the numerator have a common denominator of 2, which means I can just combine those fractions together. The numerators have like terms, right? m, 2m, 3m, 9, 15, 18. If I combine all of those three fractions together, given they have a common denominator, what I end up with is 6m plus 42 over 2, all over 3. This 2 here can simplify this top fraction, right? Because 2 goes into all of these things leading me to 3m plus 21 over 3. And then 3 goes into both 3 and 21, so I can simplify or reduce this fraction further. And what I'm left with is m plus 7, which means the correct answer must be b. So that's one way to do it. The other strategy is one of my favorite strategies on this test, which is plug in your own number. Now, the plug in your own number strategy is something that can be used or you should... You know, can mostly be used whenever there is a variable or multiple variables in the answer choices. Whenever I see variables in the answer choices, I'm thinking plug in my own number. So if it were me, I probably would have gone, you know, the simplify route because I think as I translate, it just becomes pretty logical and, you know, one step leads to the next. But let's say you're not really comfortable with all the fractions and the complex fractions and all that. We can still answer this without doing all that. So plug in your own number. The way that we would do that is we'd say m is equal to, make up your own number. I'm going to say 2. I always use 2 if I can. So what does that mean? That means x, instead of m plus 9 over 2, is going to turn into 2 plus 9 over 2, which is 11 over 2. And for y, instead of 2m plus 15, it's going to become 2 times 2, which is 4 plus 15, which is 19 over 2. And for z, instead of 3m plus 18, I'm going to have 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 18, which is equal to 24 over 2. When I simplify that, I get x equals 5.5. I get y equals 9.5. And I get z is equal to 12. So all that's left is to actually answer the question. So the question says, find the average of x, y, and z. So I'm going to do that by adding them all up. So 5.5 5 plus 9.5 plus 12. I'm going to divide all of that by 3. I throw this into my calculator. 
5.5 plus 9.5 is 15 plus 12 is 27. So I end up with 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So there's my average. Okay, so that's the first step of plugging your own number. The next step is to say, okay, well, now when I put this m equals 2 into each answer choice, which one gets me a 9, right, the 9 that I know I should get as an average. So for choice A, m plus 6, right, 2 plus 6 does not equal 9. But for B, 2 plus 7 does equal 9, meaning that B is most likely the right answer. And as we check the rest of these, we would see that these don't equal 9. So we feel more confident, again, that choice B, this m plus 7, is the correct answer. So two methods translate word problem, um, really that's, this is always gonna need to happen, right? We're gonna need to translate this. Uh, really what the question is, do you go from there to plugging your own number in, or do you go from there to like continuing the logical steps of translating what everything, what everything means?